done all kinds of shows. Uh, you've traveled on cruise ships, you've done television. Can you talk to us a little bit about your uh, television experiences? <laughs> that, that was fun. Uh, the, the, the television is the most probably exciting thing you'll do, the most nerve-wracking thing you'll do. Well, when I was on Arsenio Hall the first time, Arsenio said to me, if you bomb here, you bomb live. We don't sweeten anything, we don't add anything. If you bomb, everybody sees it and everybody hears it. Good luck. <laughs> well, what we didn't know is you stand in a spot and there's a bank of TV cameras right in front of you and the audience is 30 yards away that way. And they're not looking at you. They're looking at the ceiling because the ceiling is all covered with TV monitors. And everybody's sitting there like this going, <laughs> just like they're watching TV at home. They're too far away to see you plus the TV cameras are in the way. So all I'm looking at is TV cameras and a monitor sitting right here and the director going, there, go, you know, and stop, you know, and all this. And you're going, okay, you know. And if you're bombing, Arsenio is laughing his butt off, falling off the chair behind you, you know. <laughs> and um, that, that was really cool. And then I was on the Statler Brothers show a couple times. And that was just total fun because that was in a theater, a real theater. And the TV cameras hung from the ceiling then. And so you were looking right at the audience and the TV cameras were hanging here and you didn't even notice the TV cameras. So you just did your show. And uh, that was fun. TV or a theater audience is the best audience ever. And we just had so much fun with those shows. And then we did some club shows that were televised. Um, <clears throat> And, and those were good, too, because you didn't notice the TV cameras because they were spotty in the audience, you know. And you just went up there and did your show for the audience and made it work for the audience, and that, that was cool. But the, I really enjoyed it, uh, but it was very nerve-wracking, and, and I had it timed out, I mean, right to the second. But what I forgot to leave room for was the laughter. And I knew I only had so many minutes, and I was done. And I'm like looking at the audience going, shut up, I got more to do, you know. And they're laughing and clapping, and I'm going, did you read my time here? <laughs> and so I had to then start thinking, okay, cut this. No, I don't want to cut that. Cut. Ooh, I don't want to cut that. And you can actually see in my face and in my eyes on some of the shows where I'm editing, <laughs> trying to think what I'm going to leave out and what I'm going to keep in, you know, to make this thing work. And the one time the director was right in front of me, and he had little cards, one minute, two minute, three minute. And you start with three minutes. When you come up here, you hold up the card, you got three minutes. And he'd watch his watch. And you hold up the card, two minutes, watch his watch. One minute. And then and then he'd go like this. You start to wind it down. When his hands went together, you were done. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, so I'm watching this guy like this, you know. And he holds up three minutes like that. And he starts laughing. And the next thing I know, he puts the cards in his arm and he's clapping his hands and he's going like this and he's just watching me, you know. And I'm watching him going, what time is it? How much time do I have left? <laughs> and then he went, oh, 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 oh. <laughs>